Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see Monday.com integration with Agile Point. Monday.com is a cloud-based work operating system designed to help teams manage projects, process and workflows in one digital workspace. First, let us see how to create access token for Monday.com. I go to Manage, App Builder, Global Access Token, Add Token. In order to create Monday access token, you need token name and API. Now let us go to Monday.com. This is the Monday.com page. In case you don't have an account, you can get started and create your account. I have my account already created. So let me log in. I log in using Google. Once you navigate to your Monday.com, you need to go to administration. Once you are in administration, click on connections. Click on API tab. API is generated. I'll copy this. Let me enter the token name. I paste the API key. I click on test connection. Connection is successful. Let me save it. This is about access token. Let us navigate to app builder. All apps. As part of monday.com integration, we have added 20 activities. Create workspace, update workspace, get workspace, create board, update board, get board, create group, update group, get group, create column, update column, get column, create item, update item, get item, delete item, delete column, delete group, delete board and delete workspace. Let us look at the activity configurations. Let me open create workspace activity general configuration. It has display name and description. I say next. I have configured the access token. I have given the workspace name that needs to be created and you can set the privacy as open or closed. If nothing is provided, it will be considered as open. You can provide the description and I am saving the workspace ID response in a variable. The next one is update workspace. Let us look at the configuration. General configuration, it has display name and description. I say next, update workspace configuration. It has access key. We need to provide workspace name or ID for which we need to update the details. Workspace name, this is the workspace which we are changing. In case you need to update any workspace user, you can do it and you need to provide the user as owner or subscriber. The same way you can add group to the workspace and the same way you need to provide the group as owner or subscriber and provide the description. This is about update workspace. Now let us look into get workspace configurations. In general configuration, it has display name and description. I say next. You need to provide the access token and you need to pass workspace name ID. You, here you can, this supports multiple IDs with semicolon separation. Here you can save the response in app schema or variable. I have mapped for app schema. Let us quickly look into the schema. This is the schema mapping that has been done. In case you need to save it in a variable, you can select this and you can drag and drop the variable and save it. Create board configuration and general configuration will have display name and description. I say next. Create board configuration will have access token. You need to provide the workspace name or ID in which the board needs to be created and provide the board name and set the privacy for the board whether it is public, private or shared. In case you need to assign an owner email or ID you can provide. You can provide the description and store the board ID response in a variable. That's about create board configuration. Next one is update board configuration. General configuration will have display name and description. I say next. In update board, I need to provide the access token, workspace name or ID and the board ID for which I am updating the name and providing the description. This is about update board configuration. Next one is get board configuration. General configuration will have display name and description. I say next. Get board configuration will have access token and board ID. In case you want to retrieve multiple, you can use semicolon and provide multiple board IDs. Here you can map the response to app schema or store the response in the variable. Let us quickly see the app schema. 
this is the app schema in case you want to still return a variable you can so return the variable this is about get board next one is create group configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next create group configuration will have access token workspace name or id board id and the group name which needs to be created this group will be created under corresponding workspace and the board id relative to group name or id we need to provide the existing group after which this need to be created you can provide the group position before or after and we are going to store the group id response in a string update group configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next update group configuration will have access token workspace name or id and the board id and the group name or the id and the group name which we need to update again in case you need to change the group name or id and the group position that is also possible in update group next activity is get group let us look at the configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next get group configuration here i have need to provide the access token the board id and the group name or the id i can map the response in app schema or in the variable let us quickly see the app schema this is the app schema in case you want to store it in a variable that is also possible that's about get group configuration let us look into the next activity that is create column let us look into the configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next for create column configuration we need to provide the access token workspace name board id column title and column type column type there are multiple types which is supported by monday.com you can configure custom label this is the custom labels and provide description we can store the column id response in a variable this is about create column configuration update column configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next update column configuration we need to pass access token workspace name board id column name or id and the column name which we need to update and provide the description if any this is about update column configuration next one is get column configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next get column configuration we need to pass access token board id column name or id we we can store the response in app schema or the variable i have mapped for app schema let's quickly look into the app schema this is the app schema you can even store the response in this variable this is about get column configuration next one is create item configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next this is create item configuration we need to pass access token workspace name or id board id group name or id and item name you can do map request to app schema or you can map payload to app schema here we have done map payload to app schema this is the mapping in case we need to hard code all the details then we can select the details wherein map request to app schema will be enabled and you can proceed and do the required mapping to proceed with the create item configuration that is about create item configuration let's move into update item configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next this is the update item configuration wherein i need to provide the access token workspace name or id board id and the item id and map the payload to app schema this is the schema that has been mapped in case you need to hard code you can use the previous method which has been told in create item and follow the same for update item configuration as well in order to use map request to app schema that's about update item next one is get item configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next get item configuration in this we need to pass the access token workspace name or id board id item id in case you need to fetch for multiple ids you can separate it with semicolon and you can enter the response payload in case you need to map for the app schema you need to provide the workspace name board id and stuff as told in the create item configuration let's quickly see the map schema name is getting mapped so this is about the map schema 
that's about get item configuration delete item configuration general configuration will have display name and description i say next here you need to provide the access token and the item id which needs to be deleted that is about delete item let us see delete column configuration general configuration will have display name and description I say next for delete column configuration we need to pass access token board ID and the column name or ID this is about delete column next one is delete group configuration In general configuration will have display name and description I say next for delete group configuration we need to pass access token board ID and the group name or ID for deletion this is about delete group moving on to next activity that is delete board configuration general configuration will have display name and description I say next delete board configuration we need to pass the access token and the board ID that is about delete board last configuration is delete workspace let's quickly look into it general configuration will have display name and description I say next delete workspace configuration we need to pass the access token and the workspace id this is about delete workspace this is all about the new activities and their configuration now let us look into runtime of this particular demo let me navigate to work center my apps i launched monday application i have provided the workspace name and the description and select the privacy as open and i submit the form let's move to task now let us see if the workspace is created i go to monday.com i click on the workspace demo workspace is created let me open that now let us go to work center let us update the workspace i have provided the workspace name description and the user email for which the access need to be given i select the user as owner and i provide the group name and group as owner one thing that need to be noted here is the group name should be already present so check in your monday.com teams the teams need to be created the same thing can be provided here as, here as the input otherwise it will throw the error so i submit the form the workspace is updated and the description is also updated now let us move back to work center get workspace it has fetched the latest details about the workspace i click next let us create a board i'll be creating a demo board i have given the board name as demo board and selected the privacy as public and provided the description let me submit the form let's move to monday.com demo board has been created let's navigate to it demo board demo description is also shown let's navigate to work center let me quickly open the process monitor next one is update board let me update the board i have updated the board name as project board and the description as project board i submit it let's go to monday.com and see the board name is updated with project board and even the description is updated next is get board it has fetched all the details now let me click next create group let me create a group called test group i click submit test group is created now let me update the group i rename it to project group and i say submit let's see in the monday.com yes it is updated to project group now let us check get group it has fetched the details once this is done we will create a column so let's say next let us create a column i call the column title as test and column type as text and provide the description let me submit the form let's go to monday.com test is created with the column description what we have provided let's go and update it i update the column name as name and description as name and i click submit let's go to demo board it has been updated to name and the column description is also changed next is guest get column it has fetched the details as we have given and it is having the latest details i say next let us create an item i'll create item name that is as one and name as john smith i click submit let's go to monday.com 
and see if it is added it is added to the project group and the details are shown now let us update them i click on update item i update the name to from john smith to david i click submit let's go to monday.com and check it is been updated to david let's see get item it has fetched the details and it is pointing to the latest update that is david i submit the form now it will start with delete item let's see the project board the item is deleted let us wait for 20 seconds delete column let's go and see the monday.com column is deleted delete group let's see group is deleted delete board is completed let's go and see project board has been deleted let's move to workspace delete workspace is also completed let's check in monday.com workspace is also deleted this is all about monday.com integration with agile point thanks a lot for your time